Tennessee at South Carolina. This one's going to be interesting to see what Josh Heupel decides he wants to do on offense. Uh, Tennessee is favored by 22 on the road with a total of 66 and a half. So I guess they are expecting South Carolina to put up some points, but I would not imagine that it's very many because, uh, man, they just looked awful against Florida last week. And I think Tennessee is significantly better than Florida. So, looking at the numbers here, my number on this is Tennessee minus 23.49. So, that is better than 22 uh, and probably close to 24, I guess. Uh, The Tennessee defense not great against the pass. I guess if Spencer Rattler was going to have an opportunity, it would be against the secondary. Uh, You kind of run into some issues, though, with that because I think that defensive line is going to try their best to get after him at the South Carolina's offense is number 114 in Havoc rate allowed over the past five weeks. The Tennessee defense is only number 99 in Havoc rate. But, man, you know Tim Banks likes to bring those guys. So if anybody was going to be able to get after him, I would imagine it would probably be Tennessee's defensive line and those linebackers. Uh, as far as, you know, stopping the run, Tennessee's uh, running game, as far as the defense is concerned, is uh, pretty good. Number 32 PPA per rush. Uh, number 18 in offensive line yards allowed, number 25 in stuff rate. That South Carolina offense has just almost completely fallen apart without Marshawn Lloyd. Now, I think that he might be back this week, but, I mean, nothing is confirmed right now, and I just, I don't know what to make of it. Uh, As a matter of fact, I'm looking it up right now to see if there's been an update this morning, and I don't see, let's see, South Carolina... Yeah, Marshawn Lloyd, uh, he last practiced on, like, November 9th. Like, it's a bruised quad. Maybe he plays. It's, it's It says game time decision. If he doesn't play, they're in some serious trouble. And it's really crazy to think, like, a running back means that much to an offense. But regardless, uh, the Tennessee offense, uh, yeah. Here, here's what you're going to get, okay? You're going to get a whole lot of running the ball which will mean that South Carolina is going to have to bring those safeties up, and when they do, Tennessee is going to hit them over the top over and over and over again. Tennessee is number seven in turnover margin, as you see right there, and South Carolina number 113. Uh, South Carolina is number 125 in giveaways per game. Tennessee number 16. Tennessee does not turn the ball over. They don't beat themselves. South Carolina absolutely does. 22 is... Just not enough here. Uh, Tennessee knows that they have to win big to be able to get to the playoff, and and I think they're going to do that. Uh, I know that this is at South Carolina. I get it. It's a um, it's a seven p.m. Eastern game. You know, I think the fans are going to be hyped, but one big play from Tennessee's offense, and that'll probably take those guys out of it, especially early. And I think that's what's going to happen here. I just what Hendon Hooker is doing, by the way. they're only number 55 in passing explosiveness over the past five weeks, but a lot of that has been skewed because, man, did Georgia shut them down. I don't think South Carolina can shut them down. I really don't. So I I think because these numbers are based on the last five weeks, obviously it looks a little a little weird, but, uh, but man, like it's, it's kind of nuts to think about. It. South Carolina, uh, number 98 PPA per drive over the last five weeks. Uh, their offense is number 59. Uh, the Tennessee team is number 25. Uh, offensive PPA per drive, number 61. Defensive PPA per drive, it, you would think it'd be like a little bit closer, but because of the explosive play uh, possibilities from Tennessee, you know I've got to take the volunteers. I, I understand that it's one point over a key number of 21 here. I don't care. I, I think they are going to blow them out of the water. Give me Tennessee to cover 22. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.